is going on YouTube? Uh, Crimson here. We are playing some more Mass Effect 1. Continuing our legendary playthrough. Uh, last time we talked to Harkin, I believe, is where we left off. Um, and then we're going to head... Yeah, yeah. last time it was a lot of lore dump. We talked to pretty much freaking everyone on uh, the Citadel. And I think we're going to go ahead to CSEC and get our Krogan friend. And then uh, Garrus. That's probably the plan for the day. And we'll see. We'll see how far we get. So let's hop in. So much lore last time. So much freaking lore. But yeah, I think we need to head to CSEC. So let's just. Bow. Oops. Uh, awards. I was wrong. Presidium. Have we not been to CSEC? Is that why we can't travel there? This was not the correct place. <laughs> um, med clinic. Let's go there. Maybe that's where we need to go. We're at the med center. Okay. Ooh, a keeper. Okay. Oh, I think this is where we do need to go. I didn't tell anyone, there we I go. Swear. That was smart, Doug. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Uh oh Let her go. Ah! The pop shot. Garrus is clean. There's a fire containment system we could have blown up. Dang. Okay. Well, let's talk to Garrus. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Uh, tell me what happened. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The Quarian? Does this have anything to do with the investigation in the Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few Damn. days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where'd she go? Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. The Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Anything else? What else can you tell me about the Quarian? Get this I'm info. Not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't. Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore okay, this. Okay, okay, we found our info. We don't have anything yet. We need to find her. Talking with Garrus, we gotta be we gotta be like gung ho. He's our he's our dude. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Why do you hate Saren? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the council and a disgrace to my people. That is some enthusiasm. He is heated. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. 
The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. There's our guy. Yeah, we heard there's, him. There's our guy. We could use him. A Krogan might come in handy. That's our number two. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. All right. All right. See, Move that's out. where we needed to go. That was round two. We'll just take these two for now. Boom. Does she have any more information? I thank you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Um, you got in over your head. Stick to medicine. You're not cut out for dealing with people like Fist. That's pretty That's brutal. Uh, personal question. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. It's kind of like the opposite of our, our, our doctor. Um, I need supplies. Hey, I'll take it all. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Oh, she sells Cost. stuff. I didn't know that. Medical? Oh my god, this stuff is so expensive. But there are upgrades for, like, our armor? Nice. Okay. That's imp interesting for when we get further into the game, I guess. Stuff's pretty expensive, so... Good to know. Woohoo, free XP. Uh, to the CSEC, right? Is that down this way? The CSEC Academy. Oh, Emily Wong. Oh, right. We we told this lady we were coming back to her. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? <laughs> no. <laughs> what is it? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Um... How investigations really? How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. That seems kind of sus. Why me? You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I read about the Siege of Torfin, sending your men to their deaths, shooting slavers as they tried to surrender. I need someone who isn't afraid to get their hands dirty. Someone oh. who'll do what needs to be done. That's you. I, I get my hands dirty. Source of information. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. All right. Nope. You don't get any info. I'm here to do my job, not yours. Goodbye, Ms. Wong. I see, Commander. I apologize. Get out of here, Miss Wong. I don't got time for you. Down to CSEC. Oh, Officer Lang. Oh, another keeper. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Torfin was a case yeah, I don't know you. my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. Another sorry, fan? I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? We get a bunch of more lore. All right. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those <laughs> Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Do they? Because it seems like CSEC kind of gets run through the dirt. I don't know. The Citadel? How do you like working here on the Citadel? 
This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. This guy's just a party, a party, freaking frat boy. <laughs> what do you know about the Spectres? Uh, just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save boy. the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. Well, that's what their job they is. They were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? Their job is to do the things you can't do. So. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Sounds like it. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, There's see you around, corruption right? everywhere. It runs deep. Oh boy, an elevator. I do like that they changed this, so it's not Binary not nearly as bad. Out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later. Sorry. <laughs> I was jamming. Be sick. All right. Oh, there he is. There's my guy. Rex, Shepard. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. Oh, I love him so much. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> he is easily one of my favorite characters. Go on. Get Rex and Garrus is just the squad. Do I know you, human? Fist is mine. Uh, actually, oh man, I said we were going to be nice to everyone, um, especially the guys, I mean, Rex is, he's got to be good, dude, like, we got to talk to him, like, he's my, my guy, my name's Shepard. My name's Shepard, I'm going after Fist, thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard, Commander Shepard, I've heard a lot about you, we're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. Love it. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I like that saying. I think we're going to get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist He's waiting. so good. Oh, he is, he is easily... He's my favorite. Uh... Garrus is a good, a close second, but Rex has always been my favorite. Alrighty. What did we miss? Anything? Is there a, a keeper down here somewhere we can scan? I think this just takes us down to the requisition officer. Oh, there is a keeper. Look at that. Look at that. I know what I'm doing. Sometimes. So back to um right back to this a former agent of the information dealer known as Saddlebrugger. He has arranged a meeting with the Quarian who has evidence. Um These are all my side quests. While on the Citadel, you uncovered an Alliance Patrol report. One of the patrol mentioned some strange activity in the Hydra system. Okay, so that's when we get out. 13 out of 20. There's there's uh, seven more keepers that we gotta scan. Beak. Though the Hanar Preacher did not request your help, you may still speak to the CSEC officer. Oh, we have to go back to her and talk? Okay, let's do some of this other stuff. Um, 
He seemed like a harmless fan. I thought we did that and finished it. You probably haven't seen the last of Conrad. What harm could there be in talking to him if you meet him again? Zeltan is the Elcor Embassy. Find him. Oh, right. We have to go to him again. Be on the lookout. While you told Emily Wong that you didn't want to help her find information, you might still find or run across something of interest. Okay. Scan the keepers, and that's that system, right? So let's go talk to the embassy place. And we'll talk to that guy quick. Let's turn in a bunch of these side quests because I don't want to miss them. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. I don't want to miss them. It's, it's easy to just miss stuff. There's so much in this game, so... Also, I hope I hope everything sounds good and stuff. With I changed up kind of some of my my setup with playing over here on the side, and then you know the mics in a different spot. So hopefully everything's good, sounds good still. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I can help you. I have information. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus. And he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. It wasn't from the Asari. Hey, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Deal with it. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're not very nice. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort good. was blameless. Good, good. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. Nice. She will be most displeased with my actions. She is. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Whatever. So long. Farewell, <laughs> human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. Yep. That's what's, that's what's sure up, Din. Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Wow. You can just be like, yeah, I did a nice thing. God damn it, Din. Uh, are we supposed to talk to Captain Anderson at all? I don't think so. I don't think so. So we can go back to the consort now. Open the door. Come on, Commander. Welcome to the Presidium. I think we could just fast travel over there. Even though I think it's just across the thing, but... Presidium locations. Uh, consort. Nice, nice. We gotta go talk to her again. Um. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. That's right. It was a long time ago, though. I barely. Okay, we could just go up to her. Nice. We don't even need to set up a meeting months out. She just lets us talk to her now. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Yeah, well, he's kind of in love with you, but you should give me some money. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting <laughs> you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. That's what I'm talking about. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What is it? What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Oh. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, 
a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be oh, who you man. are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. That's it? You just t you told me what I know about myself already? Uh, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. She's getting touchy-feely. They're doing their, the mind melt thing. It's, whoa. I was, <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna happen, but... You know? Sorry, Garrus. Sorry, Rex. <laughs> well. Here, Commander. Smooth talker. In that's that's what that is. With the Elcor ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. What? What is and this? Now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. It's been so long since I've played this game, I don't remember a bunch of this stuff. <laughs> remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Oh. Okay. A shield battery. Uh, no. Is that for this? To generate kinetic barriers, combat suits rely on capacitors to store energy from a generator. The greater the capacity is... Oh. Damn. We got some serious buff from doing that. Some serious shield buff. Nice. I'm not going to complain. Heck yeah. Okay, what else do we got? That's the one outside. We still have six more to find. Oh, that's that, um... The guy that was... Um... That freaking spouting religion or whatever. The Hanar. Where the heck is that? It's over this way. The run, the run in number one in Mass Effect One is so goofy looking, and you don't have a weapon out. <laughs> it's so silly. Yeah. Hmm. That's the Shadow Brokers guy. And was that Hanar over here? I think so. Yeah, there's the CSEC officer. Kind of told him off, though. How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I can convince sure. this like, annoying I kind of told him off. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Um If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. So that the other time I did the other one and it kind of made a mess. The officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden. It is. Preaching anywhere on the citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the enkindlers. And thus, no permit should be necessary. Get, get out of here. This is the Presidium, not a church. Evangelize somewhere <laughs> else. This one's beliefs will not be suppressed. If others wish to try, they are welcome to do so. Damn, okay, so... The I wonder officer states that if we have to just purchase it for him, which is kind of stupid. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the enkindlers, and thus, no permit should be necessary. Let me see what I can do. 
Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one? Any progress with that Hanar? Not yet. Sorry. I'll let you know if I come up with something. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if we can tell something it. something is. Oh, I tried to tell it to get off. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? You're breaking the law. The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Ah, uh, we're not we're not high enough. Could I buy your permit? What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. Well, that's not how it works here. However, this one also does not possess the 150 oh. <laughs> credits necessary to purchase the permit. What a surprise. It doesn't have the 150. Another money grabber. So I wonder, let's see if this works. If not, we'll just do that. We'll I knew it. You're not just evangelizing, you're panhandling. This <laughs> one desires no charity. It only desires to spread the truth of the enkindlers. Okay. What if I purchase the However, there you go. credits. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC It wanted officer. money. This one offers its thanks. Get out of here. Yeah. Freaking jerk. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Somebody needed to set that <laughs> thing straight, and it obviously wasn't going to be you. <laughs> You've already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it. And I will learn from your example. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, that was I'll funny. To my superiors. <laughs> Always talking crap. What did I get? Nothing? Did he give me my money back? Huh. Well, we did it. Uh, the rest is just investigate the system, so we'll have to do that later. We can find more keepers, which we can do that for a while, so I think that's fine. And then that's just if we find information for her. Sweet. So the last thing we have to do is just head down to Cora's Den, I believe. I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Looks like it's shut down. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Knows we're coming. What is my quick save button? Oops, not that. Is, um, F2 is my shotgun? Nice, okay. Uh, what is, yeah, what is my quick save button? I don't even remember. E binds. F5. It, it doesn't want me to save. No. Okay, well, we're going in. Guns are blazing. Let's get in here. Is that guy still up there? Damn. What this guy? That is not not what I wanted. Get a throw in. Oh god. Oh god.
right, what do we got? Man. Let's go ahead and switch over to our pistol. Nice. There's a lot more people in here when it's a freaking higher difficulty, and I don't remember what my heal button is. First aid is V. Okay. We're good. Nice. What are you shooting at, Rex? Oh, nice. I hit him with that. Come on. Rex, your big body's in the way. Get him. Oh, Rex, you're big. You're big body. Get out of the way. Ah. There we go. He's too thick. Stop right there. Don't oh. come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Yeah, I think we could. I think Stay we played him out. We'll shoot. You're making a mistake. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Little exaggeration. Uh, well, uh, uh, screw fist. It doesn't pay us enough for this. And get out, get out of here. Get. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Uh, Rex, <laughs> you could have just killed them. Nice. Give me that good stuff. Quick save. Nice. Okay. Why do I have to do everything myself? Time to die the Enemy is everywhere. Let's overload that. Take out the turrets! Okay. Nice. Wait! Don't kill me! Oh, I that's all we had to do. Nice. Start talking. Tell me where the quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. God wait, damn. wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. They say they never talk face to face. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. <laughs> Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Hi, right, Rex. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Hey, he, d he had to do his job. A lot of people died because of him. <laughs> he had to he do his job. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. The... The, like, little beef between Garrus and... Because Garrus tries to do things, like, good, but he's also... You know, he wants to do... He just is willing to get sh stuff done. But then... Rex is just like, meh. I'll just, I'll just shoot him. <laughs> Nice. Okay, we got some we got some things. So let's see. 
Armor upgrade, nice. Pistol. Let's see. But these are not better. But that's fine. So the chemical rounds do toxic damage. So it's like a, a little dot. This is versus organics, more damage. For synthetics. Shield bypass, but less damage. And then cooldown reduction. The cooldown reduction is actually really nice. I, I kind of like that. But um, so is the chemical rounds. That dot's really good. What do we have in right now? We have the heat sink. Oh, we got a new shotgun though. The shotgun we have the chemical rounds in. This one we have the radioactive ones in, which is kind of nice. And then we got first aid interface. This is healing per second. I kind of like the shields, but I guess it doesn't really matter because we have barrier. Eris is our sniper. I think we're going to throw the anti-personnel. If he could just pop people with that, boom. Clear them out real easy. Got a combat sensor in there too. And then Rex, my dude, clap that shotgun on. Make him just eat shields. I think that'd be pretty good. Eat through shields with that shotgun. Nice. Okay, because he uses uh, assault rifles and, and those. Oh, do we level? Oh, I guess Garrus needs to level up. So we want to get to that, but he also... We should really get his... Yeah. He is so good. So decryption is... Um, gives us sabotage. It gives us a stronger sabotage. And then we need to get to electronics. Where's electronics? Oh, it's in first aid. Okay. We're almost there. Let's grab a, a, a overkill. Because we want to get the snipers too, eventually. And then we want to get the shotguns with this. But he's also... You know, we got to get all this good stuff because having stasis is really good. That locks people down. And getting him heavy armor is going to be good, too. And this regenerates really good. Dude, he's got such good stuff. Let's throw assault rifles in. Then he can have shotguns next. Boom. Perfect. Looks good to me. Oh man, we gotta fight our way out. All right. Well, <clears throat> it is what it is. Oh no. Why did my sound cut out? Whoa, that's weird. Must be a bug. There must be some kind of bug going on. There we go. That little hallway must have something going on with the door cells barrier.
Fucking cover. Oh my gosh. That was scary. Oh, we're running out of time. Go, go, go. Boom. Did you bring it? I forgot about the timer Where's there. The shadow broker. Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. I forgot the about the off. timer. Damn. All right, Tally. couldn't trust him i feel like some of these fights are gonna get pretty nuts and gnarly once we get further but we'll get we'll get used to it a bit more are you okay yeah we're, we're being nice to everyone so were you hurt in the fight i know how to look after myself not that i don't appreciate the help who are you someone who saved your life i don't have time for questions i need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you, but not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. That's true. That's true. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? <laughs> Who's this, Aquarian? And then we also have Garrus, who wasn't here before, and Rex, who wasn't here before. But he's just worried about Tali. <laughs> Shut up, and I'll tell you. This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Something of value. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Okay, so what about Saren? Yeah, please continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. 
Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Dun dun. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. There we go. We know it. What's the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Could be. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. No. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. What are they? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. It's not far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love well, this. Well, damn. That's kind of nuts. Don't tell them. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. That's fair. The captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. What about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Yeah, she got a Saren point. is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. It'd be useful. I'll take all the help I can get. Tolly's really cool. Thanks. But uh Garrus is my tech. So. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. That's the squad though. That's the squad. Okay. We should, uh, I want to finish this. Man, are we just going to wander around looking for the keepers now? I'm missing six. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? In a minute, I'm busy. I'm on my way. I'm a very popular man. I have a lot of things I have to keep up with and uh, take care of, so. Oh, that's, um. So what's his name? He's the, uh, the Turian one. Oh, man, Trump Private Fredericks. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. Ah-ha! Ha-ha! That's what I'm talking about. We found one. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger-than-average stir among the diplomats and hangers-on around here. There's always something new happening around here. It's because we did something crazy. I can fill you crazy. in on some points of interest, if you'd like. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shiras. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. Oh, this is just supplies, more information. You can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. Goodbye. Okay, we already know all that. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. 
I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Yeah, I'm sorry. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Freaking rude. Is there something I can do for you? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here. I as, know this. That is, she helps people with things. <laughs> You've never been, have <laughs> you, boy? I, uh, no, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. That's fine, Private. That's Just fine. Where to find <laughs> we know sure. too much already. She's across the bridge from the embassies. This place seems strange. Yeah. There were more humans around. We already know that. You have to be tough with these aliens. They won't respect you otherwise. Okay. What about this way? Well, that's the way out. More diplomats. More diplomats. A keeper. Nice. And free XP. Okay, we need what? Four more? Yeah, we can talk to this guy now. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. But a lot it? of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. That's garbage. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. Oh, he's probably in flux. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. I mean, that's fair. I wonder if it's because she... Embassy Lounge. Oh, okay. So we gotta go back up here. So he's in, he's in the bar. Okay. Let's do this quick. So we're right here. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities make you quite a in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to Stop assist Stop stealing corpses. You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Yes. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. So she's been mauled? I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nerali Bhatia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully. Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Yeah, I'm releasing the body. You know what I am. If I want Nerali Batia, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Uh, even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? You said you'd been briefed on me. <laughs> How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Damn right. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Get, get out of here. Oh, 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 all that renegade. Yo, Shepard can put down like a like in like nobody else. He just is willing to. He says what he needs to say. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I took care of it. Your wife is coming home, Mr. Batya. Thank you. So good. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Look at that. We did a good deed in a not good way. <laughs> Ruthless. 
Where else have we not been that has potentially some people? Or some of the, the guys to scan. The keepers. I guess we haven't been we haven't been to Flux. Maybe they're here? No, we're jamming. This is a this is a What's going on? So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. Just tell me. To the point. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's den. The problem <laughs> is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping. I just blasted the crap out of that whole place, so hopefully she wasn't there. You can't stop her from making stupid mistakes. This stupid mistake might cost her her life. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Have you talked to CSEC? You know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. I just, just like I said, I sent you. Well, I blasted the crap out of that place. <laughs> Thanks. I'm waiting for someone else. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yo, we can play games? Well, there is a keeper in here. Oh, yeah. What more do we got to do? Three more. Damn, I feel like we've been everywhere. I guess maybe we can look this way. That's Emily Wong. We went that way. It's in here. Ah, uh, this is this place. Did we get this one? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing stuff still. I guess we can head to Cora's Den, though. Since we're here anyways. This is... The Market. Which we've been over here before. I think we got this Keeper. Yep. Where am I missing? Go all the way to the end here? Because this goes down to CSEC. We already went that way. We got the one down there. We were already in the med clinic. Was there one in here? I don't think so. Where the hell is Rex? We got that one. Huh. Let's go back to Cora's Den. Oh, wrong way. Now that it's open again. 
Well, there she is. There she is. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. Make time now. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. Don't be stupid. This isn't the game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Love girl. Well, I guess she's gonna be just fine. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. He played that. He played that off. Alright. I guess we'd better go find out. Okay. C sec, I guess. Is it in the it's in the wards, yeah. Oh, maybe there's maybe there's um one down here that we missed too. We didn't, we didn't walk around here a bunch. Oh no, that's not it. That's the exit. There's that way. Elevator to docking bay. Excuse me. Here we go, here we go. Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorban, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not What's, exactly. What is this? But, hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? Who are you? What are you doing here? I am Jaleed. I came here to seek aid from the authorities, but they won't listen to me. Man, we're doing so many side things. My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. What? what? <laughs> that, that's a serious question. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. That doesn't mean he wants to kill you. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. What do you need? Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. Why don't, why don't you talk to him? He thinks he can just push me around. But you'll show him, won't you? Uh, I'll help just you. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Well, why not? Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban. Oh, it's that same That's guy. The guy who wanted us to scam the keepers. You weren't there. How do you know that, Garrus? The keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. If I find out he's lied to me. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck. Okay, so that's connected. Chellick. Detective Chellick, come into my office. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Careful. Watch your tone, Chellick. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. Oh, snap. This is this. That. Okay. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Get her it's out. too dangerous. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. It's nice to see you're still working all the angles, Chalik. It's part of the job. Now are you going to help me or not? Damn. What do you need? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. You gotta level that up some more. Product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. 
Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Uh, I could just ask him. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? So you use the... These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. Where can I find this, Jax? Interesting. Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Everything is like... So shady. So shady. Hello, Commander. Backhanded deals. It's wild. Almost done. Free XP. Yeah, we can't go up that. Okay. We need two more. Two more. Let's go talk to this weapon dealer. Or, oh, that's the way out. I wonder if they're down here. In remembrance of in the docking bay. We present another profile this is the only place we haven't been, really, I think. I think. Wife and talented... mm. This is just the Normandy. Oh, yeah, see, there's one here. We're missing one, though. Where is it? Man. One keeper. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the El... Skip that. There's one more. I feel like it's got to be around CSEC because we've been everywhere else. Reports are circulating that Alliance Ambassador uh -oh. has accused a <laughs> Hi, Rex. Of the attack on Eden Prime. The uh, we're a little, we're reportedly based his accusation a little upon close. Hot. Just becoming becoming acquainted. That's all. You smell nice, Rex. Yeah, there's one, there's one more. Where is it? Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Missing one. Is it over here? I don't think we've walked this way. Have we walked this way? Yeah. The only other place I could think of is maybe in that shop area. I don't think we went in there that much. Unless that's the one. Is that the last one? Hmm. Oh, oh, man. The last keeper. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name I don't need a guide. Our records indicate this is your first time on the Citadel. Not interested. I'll pass. I apologize if you found my. Please do not disturb the keepers. How do I get you to go away? Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal Two. Behind, to your left, is one of the keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a. You may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. Okay. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. I'd like to know more about the keepers. Little is known about these peaceful the servants one. of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. 
Citadel regulations it's gotta protect be. the keepers against you won't let me scan it. during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Why here? Any particular reason there are so many keepers in this area? The keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the keepers operate those systems from wild. inside the tower's inaccessible core. They just the are running also make everything. Frequent appearances in the council chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. That's all for now. Thank you for using a V. Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. Rick. It's the last one. Maybe, maybe it's not. I don't know. <clears throat> maybe that's one we're not supposed to scan. I feel like it is, though, because it's got an X on it. Is that just a Vena? Yeah. Harris, what are you doing? He's over there crouched down, just hanging out. Hiding. Yeah, maybe maybe there's one last one inside this shop area. Maybe that's the one we're missing. We have not gone up here. <laughs> yes. Look at all that XP. Nice. Level four. Dang, we can't even go higher than that. Okay. Um. Row is really good, which gives us lift, which is also really good. It would be nice to get adrenaline burst, though. Garrus leveled up, too. Get electronics opened. Advanced sabotage. Get closer to that. Um, we want throw, and we want to get to stasis. Nice. Okay, I think we're good. Ah, what's this guy got? This one is greatly pleased to see you. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder. Though many in this place simply refer to it as Delon. Please take the shopkeeper, time to examine though. the fine goods it has for purchase. All of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Non-human armors? We can see if we can get something for Garrus and uh oh yeah, see it's super expensive though. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so. What else does he have? Shotgun. Crazy. So expensive. We can start making a lot of money once we get further, though. Oh, here we go. The licenses are really important. Okay, what else do we have to do? We finished the scan of the keepers. Jaleed's fears. Speak with Torban uh, in the lower markets. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to didn't mean to pull out my shotgun, but
Do the markets. I just want to finish up these side quests before we, we go do the Saren thing. Expat. Little list. Uh, it said the lower shop area. There's Jax. There's Torbon. Okay, let's do Torbon first. Figure out what's going on. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? No more lies. Drop the act. I want to know what's going on, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... He looks are... different. We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? Enough. Just tell me everything you know. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. What Jaleed is going on? Just got a little over our heads. How so? Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Okay. Can you imagine a tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? That's it? That's what all this fuss is about? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just, they just kill themselves? After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Whoa. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. And Jaleed? Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So I'd be in, I'd be in the little runaround. That's what's going on. I should kill both of you idiots. <laughs> we lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. Well, I already finished it. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? Sure. If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. All right. Thank you. And happy scanning. Just a Commander. couple of ding dongs is what these guys are. Too smart for their own good. Talk to Jax. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Maybe. Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Do we get into a firefight here? I mean... Do we do this? We just... We just... Mm, give C-Sec a bad time? I'll just take the weapons. The hell are you playing at? You heard me. Sorry, Jax. This is the end for you. Oh, damn. Yes, army boy. Why are you using a pistol, Garrus? Why are you using a pistol, too? You guys are crazy. We did it though. Send me back Hello, in. Commander. What did we get? Light ar Ooh. It's got better shields. We do that. Oh man. 
So we have less... We have more shields, less tech. I don't know. I feel like we should use the Scorpion one. It's got the damage protection and the tech biotic protection, which is good. And just a little bit less shields, so... That was wild. I don't think he's going to be happy about that, but, uh... Let's go back. I think we go back to CSEC now. Give him his weapons. He's gonna be he's gonna be upset. <laughs> he is gonna be upset. But uh, you know. Oh, I guess we could talk to uh, this guy too. He's right here. Boom. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You wanted me to just to kill, kill your partner. The keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Sure. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Of course you did. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. Finally. I help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Two ding-dongs, man. Two freaking ding-dongs. What the hell happened down there, Commander? Quit your whining. Here's the ship. <laughs> Damn it. I've got to get on this right away before Jax's superiors get wind of his death. Don't cross me. What about our deal? Jenna will be removed from harm's way. You've put me in a bit of a bind here, Commander. Oh, I know I did. <laughs> See yourself out when you're ready. <laughs> I know I did. Oh, we got another level. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So we wanted to get the lift. And we also want to... Where's tactical armor? Right here. Nice. Because we want to get to medium armor eventually. And shield boost would be nice to have. Um, let's grab this. We're going to get snipers. That way we can start putting them into that. Let's do more damage with this assault rifle. That'll be good. And Mr. Rex here. We grab stasis. Nice. Heck yeah. Okay, what else do we have? We just have these two? Okay, so we did it all. Alright, let's go to the Citadel. Or the, uh... The whatchamacallit. Not the Citadel. We're on the Citadel. To the tower. We got business to take care of. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Feel good though. We got a lot. We got everything done. I think. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. They're already. They're already in and session. One step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Nice. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience. 
They serve as guides and mentors to my people. Well, that's not good. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the yeah. Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. That's why they follow Saren. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? It's trouble. Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Don't be a fool. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I don't know about that. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. What a surprise. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Aw, oh, damn. Quit holding it us back. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. You tell him. You tell him, Shepard. You tell him. I earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. Aw, snap. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. Damn. I'm sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting Feels the good. is adjourned. Feels good. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need all your right. help to set all this up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Huh. Bastard didn't even thank you. <laughs> what do you expect from a politician? Come on, right behind you, Shepard. Vector bonus. Training 
talent unlocked. Let's take a look at what that is quick. Just to see. Spectre training. Increases damage duration of all your powers and attacks by 1%. Increases health. Increases max accuracy. So it just makes us way better. That's pretty freaking good. Plus then you get unity, which re revives people. That's going to be important. Especially in this uh, hard, harder run. Going to be important. Sweet! That's going to be a good spot to stop, though. For today. Boom. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you had a good time. Um, I should hopefully have another episode up next week. And, uh, yeah. So don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't. And hit that notification button to see when I post videos. And, like I said, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.